Hi everyone. It's your responsibility to get more people to take action on anything you're offering online. So, if you have a WooCommerce store and sell a product, you must convince customers to buy it. If you're selling an online course, you must provide a compelling reason for consumers to purchase it. In this video, I'll show you how to do so by utilizing Evergreen Countdown Timers. It's an Evergreen Countdown Timer, like this one right here. It's the one I'm going to show you how to put on your website today, and you can see it's at the top of the page. So, anytime someone views this page, the timer starts ticking, and I just have a unique offer here with a discount offer to get them to act right now, and not leave this page and miss out on this discount offer. This is effective and you can find it all over the place, because it works. Everything we are going to do today is done with one free plugin, the Cadence Blocks. Of course, there is a paid version as well, which adds more functionality, and I will show you at the end what the benefits are from the paid version. My name is Nick, and I am on the team at WPGoPro.com. We assist you with improving your WordPress skills so you can make more money for yourself, your clients, and your business. If you haven't already, please subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Also, give the video a thumbs up so Google knows it was helpful to you. Let's get started with the video now. So let's install the free plugin first. Click Add New. Search for Cadence Blocks. And it's the first one on the left column. Click to install and then activate. The plugin is now installed and, as you can see, it adds quite a few new blocks to the Gutenberg editor. In this video, we are going to use a couple of those, but you may explore more later. So click to save the changes. Now from the Appearance menu, go to Customize. You may notice that I am using the Astra theme, which is probably the best free theme you can find. I have already made a video for installing the Astra theme, and you can find it here at the top right corner of this video and in the description below. Don't worry if you are using another theme, because this method applies to almost every theme. Now click on the header builder of your theme. As you see, our header consists of three rows. I am going to add a widget in the top row so I get widget 1. Now click on this little gear icon to go to its settings. Click the plus icon to add a block. Click here to browse all, and then select the advanced heading. I am now typing the engaging message for the visitors. Let's change its type to heading 3 and its color should be white to read better. Click to publish the page. Now let's add a second widget in the top row. I get widget 2, and I go to its settings. Click the plus sign to add a block. Click here to browse all, and then search for the countdown. Here it is, so click to add it inside the widget. Its clock is already ticking down. So let's click here on the three dots to customize it. Click on show more settings. The countdown type is set to date and by default starts counting down about two days ahead of the current time. The action on expire is set to show timer at zero. In the countdown layout section, I am going to change the layout to inline. The preview screen is not showing the change, but it's done and we are going to see it in a minute. In the count item settings, I am going to change the background color. Let's make the border radius equal to 10 and add a little padding, let's say 5. OK, now click on publish. Let's see what the page looks like so far. OK, it's not bad. A little more styling and the page will be fine. So, let's go back to the countdown settings and specifically to number settings. The color should be yellow, the font size should be 24, the line height should be 23, the font family should be Poppins, and the font weight should be 600. In label settings, now. The color is off-white. The font size is 10, the line height is 25, and the text transform is uppercase. 
Let's click on Publish and let's check our page again. Okay, great, the top line of the header looks much better now. One final step is to add an action call to the visitor. Back to the header builder. Click the plus sign to add a button. Its text should read, Enroll now. The link should point to the page where I want my visitor to go by clicking the button. In its design, I am going to change its color to make it stand out. I am doing the same for the sticky header. Let's click on Publish and let's check our page again. Okay, I think we are just fine. Now, let's look at some additional functionality you get when you go with the paid version of the Cadence Blocks plugin. I have already installed the Pro version, so I click on the settings of the countdown block. Click on Show More Settings. In the Countdown type, now you have the Evergreen option. With this option, you are able to set a timer where the countdown resets itself and starts again from the beginning. This is very convenient as you don't have to go back to your website to set another day. You do it once and then you forget it. Very cool, indeed. You are able to set the evergreen hours and minutes as you wish. Also, by creating a unique ID, you are able to reset the timer for everyone. Another great feature is that you may set the number of days to wait until the evergreen is reset for your visitors. In this case, it's set to 30 days. So every time a visitor comes back in this month's period, the timer keeps counting for him. The option Verify by IP address is used if you want your users to get the timer even if they visit your site from another device or browser. This works like that. If no cookie is found, it will query the server database to check the user's IP address. Obviously, this adds a delay to the rendering, so I wouldn't recommend its use. Finally, the Action on Expire has more options as well. So, when the countdown timer expires, you may either hide the countdown timer, or you may replace it with a message or redirect to another URL. Let's choose Replace with Content. As you see here, now you have the Live and the Expired status of the countdown timer. Click on Expired. Add a block. Add a paragraph and type the message Offer Expired. Let's click on Publish, and let's check the page one more time. The timer was set to expire in one minute, so wait to see what happens then. As expected, we get the message Offer Expired after the expiration of the timer. I hope you found this video useful as I showed you how to set either simple or evergreen countdown timers on your website in order to convince your visitors to turn into customers to buy products or services under special offer. I used the plugin, Cadence Blocks, in its free version and I showed you the benefits of the professional paid version. In case you want to purchase the pro version, I will leave the link below. It is an affiliate link, so if you purchase the plugin using the link, I may receive a small commission. However, there is no additional charge to you. This helps me continue to create the free content that I publish. If you liked this video and you don't want to miss my weekly videos related to WordPress and business online, don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. Also, leave your comments below. My name is Nick, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Have fun with it till next time, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace and health.